So it's Monday the 10th of February, time for Physics Fun. I'm looking at the ratio today of E over M with my A2 students. Um, so what I've got here is a gas tube and we're getting thermionic emission here of electrons. So very hot filament boiling off the electrons and they're floating about and you can see some of the light. And I've got a fluorescent screen inside my, my uh, glass tube here that's uh, pretty much evacuated. Now I'm going to turn up a very high voltage power supply to about four and a half thousand volts and you can see a blue beam that's now coming across my screen so the screen's fluorescing and the beam is there because there is an accelerating potential difference here of, like I said about four and a half thousand volt on a cylindrical anode now around the tube here on both sides are something called Helmholtz coils so it's just a coil of wire creating a magnetic field that goes across so that would be going into the screen or out of the screen and I'm going to do something quite clever so I've got another power pack off screen this one's a really big one this could do 20,000 volts I've just put across it that's 900 1.1 kilovolts if I go back to that's 100 volts going up going up higher and higher and higher so it's really simple what's happening is there's an anode at the top and a cathode at the bottom and the anode attracts the electron beam so it gets pulled up so I've got an electric field I'm pulling the electrons higher up so there's a force acting on them and then I've got the Helmholtz cores I'm now going to turn those on there's a magnetic field I'm going to try and pull it down you can see the line is coming down but now my power supply has run out of juice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial back the electric field a little bit there we go that's pretty much a straight line if I now ease off on the magnetic field you can see it curving up and if I work out for the Helmholtz coils the magnetic field and I do that using an ammeter which is off screen I now know what the anode voltage is the voltage for acceleration that gives them their kinetic energy I know what the um, the uh, potential differences across my electric field um, that's my second voltage or PD and I know what the current is so I in my Helmholtz course so I can work out the field so from that I can find several balance points plot a graph quite a complex graph I'll put the formula on the uh, on the information below and from that I can find out the charge to mass ratio of the electron thanks for watching